Hey everybody, welcome to part B, the commentary on, they call it the safety act. I'm calling it the unsafety act. Might need a gun or a bat or the purge. Let's talk about that. Now, this part, I'm going to play this part again. Listen, maybe I'm a little slow. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not that slow. Uh, I need somebody to explain this part to me. Now, keep in mind the report said, and let me kind of give a little background. From what I've seen uh, on the reporting of the Safety Act, they said this was proposed initially to help poor people with cash bail. Like if you're sitting, someone sitting there uh, in jail on, uh, let's say, suspended license, uh, traffic tickets, and they don't want the person just sitting there in jail because they could not post bail. So that was the plan behind it. However, it seems it the Safety Act has been expanded to include battery, robbery, and vehicular homicide, no matter the severity. So if someone takes an older person, anyone, even a kid, and punch them and beat them in the head and steal their goods, might get arrested. A couple of hours they'll be out so they can be up to no good. And we've got to call it what it is. So if me, in Illinois, I will not be voting for these Dems. I, hell to the no. The Safety Act? Safe for who? The criminal? So, I'm going to play this clip again and listen to this part. For most offenses, today the Winnebago County State's Attorney says around 400 inmates at the county jail will be released. Under the new law, people arrested for many criminal cases, including battery, robbery, and vehicular homicide, cannot be detained no matter the severity of the crime. Now, battery that sounds like a dv domestic violence also assault against women no matter the severity of the crime they can commit that crime no bail get processed out in a couple of hours gee i wonder safety act for whom because i'm willing to bet you a mini dusty especially and particularly with, with regard to a with regard to a dv a domestic violence case i bet you Oh, you call the police on me? Oh, I'm going to get you now, girl. Oh, mommy, you about to get it now. And those men will probably return because a woman filed, called the police. Number one, again, they're low-performing dust buckets, inferior men. So they have to exert the power on women. So what do you think the chances are if a baby mama, wife, or girlfriend, or any woman walking down the streets gets assaulted, what's going to happen to them? Nothing, get processed, and get out again. Get out again. Uh... Might kill you. You think? It's been done before when they have posted bail. Across the U.S. and these cities. Post bail, get out. Woman reports getting beaten up. Now she's dead. Make it make sense. And here's another part. Cases including battery, robbery, and vehicular homicide cannot be detained no matter the severity of the crime. Unless there is evidence, they're a flight risk, and a judge can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery if there is a real and present threat to the safety of the community. Whoa. That part. They don't have these jumpsuits on for nothing. Hold on. That part. Can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery if there is a real and present threat to the safety of the community. Hold on. She did so they can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery, if there's a real threat to the community, I'm sorry. Again, maybe I'm operating a little slow today. And no matter the severity of the crime, unless there is evidence, they're a flight risk. And a judge can only detain someone for murder and armed robbery if there is a real and present threat to the safety of the community. Oh, okay. So for murder and armed robbery. So if a man kills a woman and the children, well, he only wants to kill them, and he did think, don't worry, he's not going to kill nobody else, y'all. Y'all going to be okay. He's not a threat to, to the community. Now, he's a threat to his family. Don't worry, they're already deceased. Make it make sense. Murder and armed robbery, 
if there was a threat to the community, the fact that you have evidence to bring charges of murder and armed robbery lets you know that that individual or individuals are a threat to the community. That doesn't even make any sense to me. Oh, he just murdered his girlfriend, but he's not a threat to the community. He just murdered his wife, his children. Ah, not a threat to the community. No cash bail. Murder and armed robbery, but it's not a threat to the community. Go get go get arrested, get processed, and walked out. How do you see this being a deterrent from crime? Because basically, at this point, and of all places, uh, Illinois, oh Chicago, I would start ready, get ready to move. And the thing about it, this may catch on. What's next? Philly, they have a high crime rate. Houston, high crime rate. You think it won't catch on to other democratic cities? Murder, robbery. Look at all those stores in uh, Governor Newsom, California. If they still, was it $950 or less, then they'll just get a ticket. Come to court. They may not come to court. They may not come to court. Ah, whatever, capiche. It's all right. And as a result, all those stores shut down. All those stores shut down. If you murder, so I'm trying to understand. And don't forget, we have influx of immigrants coming here. We don't even have our fingerprints. We don't even have, they're just, and if open borders, hey, anybody come in. That's just like leaving your door open at night. Leave it open at night. Go, go ahead and go to sleep. Anybody can come in. R-A-P-E against women and children, men, boys. I guess they'll get arrested. Your process, they're not a real danger. And it's up to the judge to decide. Make it make sense. And they got support from the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus. Of all things to do, you come up with this. Of all issues to address, to me, the issue is not being addressed. To me, it is showing an issue that is being created. That's what this is to me. So the un a safety act, to me, the safety act sounds rather unsafe. Look at him. I bet he can't wait to get up out of there. They're in here for a reason, people. And every now and then you may have an innocent one, but look, look at the videos that we see on the news. So basically, I see it as, I don't care how they try to dress it up, I see it as fair game, open season on these citizens in these cities. But I guess, hey, call it what it is, go however you want. I guess it's what blue will do for you. And then you bring an immigrant saying, don't know who you got. They probably about the safety act too. The safety act is not safe for the citizens of America. It's just not. The safety act, in my opinion, to me, it sounds very, very unsafe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this doesn't catch on. We'll have to be going strapped. What they said, not everybody, everybody going strapped. Let's go down to the grocery store. Let's go down to Wawa. Might have to be strapped check, checking the mail. <laughs> Seriously. Why? Because the safety act, in my opinion, is going to make it very unsafe. You might have to have a gun or a bat. Thanks to the Safety Act. Simply said here on YouTube, thanks for watching. I'm out. Stay safe, people. Love ya.